Hey guys, this is Al with My Tesla Journey. And a part of my journey is how do I charge my Tesla? And you know, there's many ways you can do it. And I want to share with you how I actually charge my Tesla using the power of the sun. Now, it's definitely not going to be the fastest way, but I'll explain. There are many options, but this is just one of the options. Uh, we've been using solar for a while now, and we've learned how to harness this power of the sun. So let's check this out. I just want to take a moment and share a note about this video. You know, our goal in this video is to show you uh, what we do and what we know. And, you know, the power stations, the batteries, and the solar panels, they definitely have a cost. So please, don't let that fool you. But we purchased those items for a home backup system. And I got to tell you, we've lost power a few times already. And it's really saved us. So number one, that's the main reason why we bought the equipment. But I have to say, in between... When we don't use the equipment, we actually use the solar to charge the batteries to power a lot of our battery, you know, operated yard equipment. And we've gotten off gas. And so we're, we're using the free power of the sun to charge the batteries. Um, so that's really helped us. The other thing is in this video, we're obviously going to show you that we're going to be charging our Tesla very slowly using these batteries that we fill using the sun. So I just want to be upfront with you. There's definitely some costs associated, but let's take a look at the agenda. So here's what I'm going to cover in today's video. If you'd like, hit pause, review it, but I'm going to go ahead and continue the video. All right, so I've got two 400-watt solar panels. I'm getting about 400 watts right now, and what I'm doing is the power that I have coming in is actually going to go to my smart home panel. So you see the solar cables, right? And what I have these coming in to my smart home panel back here. All right, I'll show you where this comes in in the basement. I'll show you my smart home panel and I'll show you my batteries. All right, so let's take a look at that. Before we go to the basement to look at the batteries and the smart home panel, you could see here that my Delta Pro is receiving 397 watts and I've got 178 going out to the extra battery. So my Delta Pro has an extra battery connected to it. I actually have two Delta Pros and two extra batteries for 14.4 kilowatt. So as you could see here, we're 69.8% charged on the battery and 70% on the Delta Pro and you know what this is free power coming from the Sun it does take a while and but what's nice is I only have 800 watts of solar and I'm receiving 400 you could do up to 1600 watts of solar with the Delta Pro and you can do that on each Delta Pro let's go downstairs and take a look at a smart home panel and the Delta Pro setup so here are the Delta Pros. I've got two Delta Pros and two extra batteries at 14.4 kilowatt. As you can see, that wire that came from the outside is coming in, and I've got it connected to the right side. And you can see here we're receiving that 400 watts, and it's sending it to the other battery. So it sends part of the wattage to the other battery, which is kind of nice. Now let's check out the smart home panel real quick. So the smart home panel is connected to my main panel. Now it's currently not enabled, all right? So when you want to use it, you can have it on backup mode, ready at all times. Or if your power goes out, then you can go ahead and turn that on. And that's what I do. And as you can see here, it's got the 10 circuits. So I've got the majority of my home being powered, not right now, because they're not enabled. That's why they're white. But I've got the option for the majority of my home to be powered using the smart home panel and, of course, my 14.4 kilowatt system. Now, this is upgradable, okay, and you can go even higher than 14.4 kilowatts. And I'll talk about that a little later in the video. So I guess the question is, in this example, how am I charging my Tesla? Well, let's take a look. 
So this is the outlet that we have powered by the Delta charging the Tesla. And if we go over to our apps, you'll see here that we are 79% charged. Our, our limit is 83% in this example, just for testing. We've got a kilowatt going in to charge the battery. And uh, here we actually have that outlet, that circuit that's forced on battery in this example, just to show you that we can actually charge the Tesla using the smart home panel and the EcoFlow Delta Pro in this way. And let's go ahead and go over to the actual mobile connector. And there, as you can see, the flashing green means you're being charged. If it was a solid green, it means it would actually have met your charging criteria. So pretty darn cool. So getting back to charging, just keep in mind, right, when you're using a 120 volt outlet, with the mobile connector specifically, you know, you're going to get that uh, three miles of range per hour, right? You're not fast charging. This is level one charging. All right. It just turned green because it actually hit the level I wanted it to hit at. Now, obviously, if you've seen our mobile connector video and I'll put an image right here. All right. And I'll also put a link in the upper right hand corner if you want to see it. But I'll also put one in the description these adapters change all right so i can actually connect this to a nema you know 240 volt outlet and actually get almost about 30 miles of range every hour so big difference but overnight if you think about it in 10 hours i'm going to get like 30 miles of range all right in 10 hours because i'm going to average about three miles of range an hour Check out the mobile connector video if you have time, but let's continue because I'll go over some more details. Now you'll see the uh, smart home panel, both sets of batteries are enabled. Currently it's using this side. It's pulling 1400 watts and it's pulling 700 and change from the battery as you can see here. So this battery is sending 700 and change and then obviously this delta pro is 700 and change so it's actually sending 1400 and change out to just that outlet i can control that i don't have to have it connected to the whole house now this system here is on standby this battery is lightly charging this unit when these batteries drain it'll automatically switch over that's kind of how it works so pretty cool to use the sun power that I used to charge these batteries to now charge my Tesla. One thing I forgot to show you is we're charging solar right now. So this set is being charged via solar and we've got about 350 watts coming in. All right. And then basically it's outputting the wattage to charge that battery now. So what's nice is you can charge solar and power and charge your Tesla using these batteries. Now, what I did was I just moved the solar to this set because this is the set charging the Tesla. So the battery is sending 600 watts. We're receiving a total of 900, so the difference would be solar. And again, we're sending out that 1400 watts to charge a Tesla. All right, so charge is complete. All right, now we've got, it actually didn't need to use a set of batteries to charge that 5%. So as you can see here, we are down to 16% now on this battery and 15% on this one. So let's take a look at the app real quick. And so you can see here that if I could bring this up, charge is complete, 80%, all right? It says four kilowatts was added during the last charging session. All right, so we're now at 80%. Okay, so charge is complete. Now, if we look at the outlet in the app, and let me show you this real quick. So this is the main interface, and it shows your batteries and your percentage. But let's click in here, and then we can scroll down to that outlet. That's the only one that's green. Now, as you can see, it's not using any wattage zero wattage now okay 
but we used and you know and I don't it's it's hard to determine the numbers but it says here that we use 6.9 kilowatts all right and again it was only on used battery so it was forced all right so pretty interesting I don't know how to connect the 6.9 kilowatts to what the Tesla app says, you know, right here that we used four kilowatts during the last session. But, you know, there it is. You know, at the end of the day, we were able to charge the Tesla battery. We still have our other two batteries mostly full. We don't really fill these to 100. We, we go to 90% at most, and then we don't go any further than 10% on these batteries. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries. Well, good morning. I'm out here with Brooklyn, my yellow lab, and we are recharging solar. You know, yesterday we went down to about 15% on that set of batteries, and so we want to basically bring those back up to around 90%. Again, they are lithium iron phosphate batteries. And if we look at the uh, app, we're getting uh, 400 watts of solar this morning. So we're going to have a good couple of hours of solar. We've already got 5%, um, it's 20% charged now, and the additional battery is showing down there at 20%. So, yeah, you know, we will do this as much as we can. Uh, you know, why not? It's fun, and uh, we own the equipment. Of course, there's a cost associated, but we have this as a home backup system as well. So, yeah, we should probably be about 50 to 60% charged um, and then tomorrow, if we get sun, we should be 100% charged. It'll take about two days to charge those batteries as long as, um, you know, we have some sun. And again, we're only really getting about 400, 500 watts out of these 800 watt panels. It is cold. It's 10 degrees. But, uh, yeah. So here's the setup that we went over today. We had the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel. We had two EcoFlow Delta Pro batteries, 3.6 kilowatts each. Two Delta Pro expansion batteries. Those are 3.6 kilowatts each also for a total of 14.4 kilowatts. Now we used two EcoFlow 400 watt solar panels. And of course, we use the sun. So a little bit more on Delta Pro and how you can expand it. Forget about the smart home panel for a minute, but you can obviously add an additional battery that would come with the cable. And at that point, you would have 7.2 kilowatts. Now let's check out the next one. Expansion scenario number two. Well, now you can add two batteries, right? For 10.8 kilowatts. Next expansion scenario would really be, you know, listen, get yourself a home, a smart home panel. Uh, you would have two Delta Pros, and each Delta Pro could have two batteries, and that's 21.6 kilowatts. And the, the highest you can go is 25 kilowatts, and how you do that is you do two Delta Pros, two extra batteries, and you do two smart generators. All right, to get 25 kilowatts. So let's go over some estimated costs. The smart home panel sells for $15.99. Each Delta Pro sells for $3,699. Each battery sells for $27.99. And that would leave you at $14,595. Now, if you wanted to pick up two of the solar panels we were using, they're about $1,000 each. So that would leave you at 16595 And here's the good news. The sun is free. So that'll help you out down the road. I hope this information was helpful. So I just want to take a moment and let you know about some other videos we did on our other channel, Tech Made Easy. And I'll put links in the description. If you want to know a lot more about the Delta Pro, well, we did a detailed Delta Pro video with timestamps. Again, we'll put links in the description. We also did a few videos on the smart home panel, as you can see on the right. So check those out when you have time if you want. So I really hope this information was helpful, you know, to, to show you that you have different ways you can use equipment. Again, this is our home backup system, but when we don't use it, it sits around. So we recharge this with solar, right?
And then we reuse this power to charge our batteries for our yard equipment, like our snowblower, our mower, our string trimmer, and now our Tesla. So if you found this information helpful, definitely take a moment, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member. Share our video with your friends, your family, and if you're in any chat rooms, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Guys, thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.